Hi guys, Melissa here at TCT Crafts. Today we are going to do a Christmas uh, fake bake design. So we are gonna be making a chocolate uh, brownie cookie skillet, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I think these are super cute. You can do them in all the different seasons. Um, I did a fall one that had like a candy corn theme. So we're gonna make one that's got um, our Christmas colors. So we're gonna do traditional Christmas colors on this one, but you can mix it up and do Candyland. You can do um, whatever type of design that you want. So to get our, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and get our little brownie cookie made. I've already mixed up some, um, just so you don't have to sit here and watch me mix this for a while. But basically I'm just gonna take our rust clay and I'll just show you, you know, just take some of the rust and then take a tiny bit of the black and you just mix and you just keep adding a little bit of the black until you get to the desired um, chocolate color that you want. So you could do more of a milk chocolate just by adding a little bit less black or you can add um, more black and get more of a um like a dark chocolate so you just keep you just keep mixing and mixing until you get to the color of chocolate that you want to use in your in your project okay so this is all i did is i just took some rust i just took a big handful and then i just a little at a time started adding black so you can see this is now more of a darker a darker chocolate so the one I'm gonna use is kind of in between a like a milk chocolate um, it's a little darker maybe than a milk chocolate but not quite as dark as a dark dark chocolate okay so I am just going to put it on the table let me get my rolling pin okay I'm just gonna get my rolling pin and roll it out a little bit. Doesn't have to be smooth because we're gonna add lots of texture to it. And there's gonna be stuff all over the top of it. Let's see if that is wide enough. And it is. So I am just taking this circle um, cookie cutter and I will try to link these in the description if I can find them. I think I got them off of, I think I got the cookie cutter off of Amazon and I, I got the skillets off of Amazon. But you can definitely look for these, you know, garage sales or thrift stores or wherever. And I'm just gonna kind of push this. So we have our little and let me make sure because that's going to be good. I'm trying to see if I want it a little bit thicker. I think it'll be okay. So before we put this clay, and I'm just kind of smushing it in just a little bit. So before we just set our clay in here, we're gonna add a little bit of super glue to the bottom. So let's get some of my super glue. And I'm just gonna add some super glue there to the bottom. And then we're just gonna sort of push our cookie in there cookie brownie and don't worry about like I said we're going to add lots of texture and cookies are never like perfectly flat right so I'm just pushing that down getting some of that air out so we don't have any like weird bubbles when it dries Pushing that, pushing that down really good. And 
Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, now what I wanna do, now you could just totally do plain, just like this, but I'm gonna add some little chocolate chips to mine. So I just have some little faux chocolate chips that I'm just gonna kinda push here and there into my clay. Now you can buy these or you can make these. Um, I make mine, I have a little um, chocolate chip mold, which I think if you watch, if you go watch the video we have on the mint chocolate shake, um, I believe we make some little chocolate chips in that video. So you can just watch how I make them, but I'm just gonna add a few little chips here and there. That's probably good. Yeah, that's probably good. And I just keep, I make mine up ahead of time and just keep it in a little plastic container so that I have some. Now let's add some um, texture to our little brownie cookie. So I'm just taking a little gonna kind of go around. I don't like the the texture on this for my cookie very well so I'm gonna switch to a after I do a few of this I'm gonna switch over to a toothbrush. There we go. Now I'm just taking a a clean toothbrush but one that I just use for crafting. And I'm gonna I'm gonna push pretty hard because this is foam clay. And foam clay does puff out and it doesn't like to always hold your texture. So I'm just kind of pushing pretty pretty rough with it. you can see that it's got lots of texture and normally what I would do if I wasn't doing the video is I would walk away let this dry for you know a few minutes 10 minutes maybe and then come back with my toothbrush and do this again just because as it starts to dry and puffin it's gonna lose a little bit of this texture now we're gonna have stuff all over it so this one's not I'm not too worried about because you're not gonna see a whole lot of the texture But there we go. So I would normally um, let this dry. I would come back the next day, so at least 24 hours. Sometimes when you mix the these dark colors together of clay, sometimes when it dries, it has a little bit of a cloudy finish. Um, Sometimes it doesn't, it just, I have no, I, there's no rhyme or reason to it. So I have been able to just take this and decorate on some, and then some of them I get that kind of like film. And so I will just take, if I, if I don't like the color when it dries, I'll just take a little bit of this burnt umber and just paint over the top and it'll give it a nice chocolate color. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to move on with it like this. Hopefully it dries nice. Because um, I don't want to have to wait for the paint to dry. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. But just know, let this dry. See if you like the color. If you don't, do a little bit of burnt umber. You'll be good to go. Now we are going to add some, I wanna add some drippings. So you could do a chocolate sauce dripping, which is what I did on, so I just used some chocolate or brown color um, tuba paint or dimensional paint to give it like a chocolate dripping. But on these, since they're gonna be like holiday, I'm gonna use, um, let me get a parchment paper here. I'm gonna use our holiday colors. So I'm going to use red, white, and green. And I hope I have enough red to do this because I've got to get some more. So 
even if we could just get a little bit. Oh, you guys, I may not have enough to do the red. Okay, well, we're gonna make a red dripping. Since I don't have enough, we're gonna make our own little red dripping. And I'm not gonna use, I'm just gonna do, um, let's see. Let me see if I have a red already made up. And it looks like I do. Okay, so it looks like I have a red already made up. So I'll just use that. It's not gonna be quite as dark as that red. So I'm gonna try to cover up what I just did. Because this red is a little lighter. But this stripping is just um, caulking, some Mod Podge, and paint. Shake it up really well, really well, because I haven't used it in quite a while. Okay. So I'm going to try to go over this since they're not quite the same color. And if you want to stay just inside where the cookie is, you can. I like to have the dripping kind of go over my pan. So I just went over it. Let's do some green. Okay, and then let's add, lastly, some white. So I'm starting to sputter on me too, so I'm gonna need to get two of these, white and red. Okay, so we have our have our little drippings. Now let's add our little sprinkles and our little designs that we want, or our little um, embellishments. So I'm gonna use these cute little red, green, and white candy corns. I got these off of Playco 3. I'm gonna add just a little bit of super glue. And we're gonna have some ice cream in the middle, so I'm not worried about that part. I'm just gonna kinda add these around the side. Let's add one over here. Let's do three. And now let's add a couple of these little plastic candies. I got these off of Play Code 3 as well. So let's just add a couple of these. And you guys, this is not my original design. Lots of people have made these. Um, I know May with Faux Sweets makes some really cute ones, and there's so many different designers that have made these skillet cookies, so this is not my original design. This is just something that I have seen, and I think it was super cute, so I wanted to go ahead and make some, okay? So I added just a couple of those. Now let's add a few sprinkles. So I have some of our, this is our holiday sprinkle mix that we have in the shop. So it's got some little like red and I uh, can't even see them. Some little um, red, green, and white little peppermints. It's got different sizes. So I'm gonna add some of these. Now, because these are super light, 
and my puffy paint is wet, I'm not going to worry about super gluing these. So I'm going to add a few of those. I'll go ahead and add just a couple in the center in case it kind of pokes out of our ice cream. And I think we'll add a few of the snowflakes. Those are super cute. We'll stop there and we'll get our ice cream on and then see if we need to add any more. And then we have some of these little peppermints in here. We could add a few of those. Or not peppermints, candy canes. These little candy canes. We'll add just a couple candy canes. Okay. So let's, let's stop there, let's add our ice cream and then we can add more. Okay, so for our ice cream, let me move that little skillet out of the way. We are going to be, for our fake ice cream, we're gonna be using, I'm gonna go ahead with a white ice cream scoop. You can use any color scoop you want. We could do um, like our candy corn where we did three different, I did three different colors. I did the white, the orange, and the yellow. You can mix, you can just make different colors with speckle. Um, but I think for this holiday design, I'm just gonna do a plain white. And then we might add some drizzle on the top, I'm not sure yet. Um, so I'm just gonna take some DAP, lightweight speckle. I already have a little bit mixed up. But I'm gonna need more than that. So let's add some more in here. Probably good enough. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Plaster Paris to it. You don't have to use Plaster Paris. You can use flour or um, what else? Baking, is it baking soda, baking powder, one of those. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of plaster. It's gonna dry faster. And I like the texture that it gives for the ice cream. So it makes it a little thicker and it comes out of my scoop a little better. I'm gonna mix that up. And we'll add a little bit of white paint too. And this would, would be where you would add whatever color of paint if you wanted to do a red scoop. And I'll show you when we get ready to add this to the scoop how you would do the multiple colors. So if you wanted to do the, the red, the green, and the white. Ooh, look at that, I make a, made a mess. This is why I do my fake bakes down here in the shop and not on my design table, because I make a huge mess and I'm not quite ready to get my design table all dirty. Okay, let's add a little bit of paint. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white paint. And I'm just using the apple barrel. Now I will say this last little tub of paint that I got, I am not a fan of this one. It is way too watery. But typically, typically it's good, just not this bottle. So I'm just gonna add a little bit because it's, it's really watery. And that's just gonna help. You don't have, if you're not using Plaster Paris, you may not have to, the Plaster Paris has a little bit of a gray tint to it. So I just wanted to get my scoop a little whiter. So it really just depends on what you're mixing into your speckle. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm gonna use a large ice cream scoop. You can use whatever size you, size you want, but I want it pretty large to go right in the center. So I'm just gonna start adding my, now let me show you, if you were gonna do the multiple colors, let's say white was gonna be here, you just kind of add your white to this side. Let's say you were gonna go in with like a red, then you would go in right next to that and add in your next color. And then let's say your last color, you were gonna do green you would just add it in. So you just do it in layers, and that's how you would get the multiple colors. But we're gonna do all white this time, so I'm just gonna fill this pretty good. Does not have to be neat in there because ice cream, you want that little sort of texture to make it look more realistic when it's coming off that scoop. So I kinda like to have some coming off the side. Boy, we sort of get that little um, that little lip of the ice cream. Okay. Let's get our little skillet back. And I'm just gonna push that down. You can use your little fingers if you don't like the way it came out. But I think it turned out pretty good. So we got our little ice cream on there. Now let's add one of these kind of to the top. So again, I'm going to get a little bit of super glue on here. push it down in my ice cream. And then if you wanted to add the drizzles, you could, I think, debating. I like it with the drizzle, but I'm thinking maybe just leave it plain. So I may do, let's just leave it plain. Let's just do it. Um, let me see if I wanna add some peppermints though to it. To the ice cream that might be kind of cute oops let me get my tweezers well i'm not having any luck with this let's try this again let me see if i want to add some of these I think that's kind of cute. So you can, again, you can do this or you cannot do this. This is up to you. So let's add a few little of these little peppermints on there. Oops, that one fell off. more turn around this way you can add the other sprinkles too if you wanted to do the um the little candy canes or the little snowflakes. It's also got little chocolate sprinkles in here. Whatever you, whatever.
whatever you want to design. There's no, no rules, right? Okay, let's do one more. Cute, I think that's cute. Okay, you can totally stop here if you want. We have our cute little skillet. I think I'm gonna add a little bow on mine though. That's what I did on the, um, the other one. So let me find what I did with my ribbon. Here it is. So I'm just gonna add a, a little red and white gingham bow. So I'm just making two loops. There's probably a better way to make these bows, but this is just how I do it because I'm not a very good bow maker. And then just kind of pull it till you get the desired loop size that you want. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some hot glue to the back. We're just going to add it right there in our little skillet. So now we have these super cute little holiday brownie cookie skillets. Super easy to make. And like I said, you just change up the colors, change up what you want to put on top, change the color of your ice cream scoop to whatever um, you desire. So I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time. Bye, guys.